Hey guys, it's Brayden or LCW here. I'm here to introduce to you guys a three part series and this is the first part of building my new Lego studio. I just got a warehouse space. Let's go check it out right now. All right guys, so I just got the warehouse space. I'm in it right now. And let's go ahead and go over the brief idea of what I'm actually going to be doing in here. So here's the space. So it's a rectangle. It's 350 square feet. Okay. The back wall is a little rough. We got our power outlet right there. So you might be wondering, you're like, oh, how are you going to organize this? How are you going to build a really cool Lego setup out of this? So here's the basic idea. All right. So you got the door right here. All right. This door is going to stay shut. So you walk in here. Okay. You're gonna walk. We're gonna have two bookcases on either side. We're gonna create a doorway that comes back into here. We're gonna have bookcases that line all this wall right here. We're gonna have the YouTube table right here. We're gonna have the mock table right here. We're gonna have uh, no bookcase on this side, but we'll have them on this side. We will line right here as well. We'll put them right in front of here and line them as well. And then we'll have a table right here for the Bricklink store. So the Bricklink store will take up the front part. So that line right there is kind of our um, marker you might see. So there you go, got a nice marker right there. So everything past this line, is gonna be for my personal stuff, for the YouTube videos, making mocks, displaying some sets. And then past here will be the Bricklink store. So this will be where my mom and I will run the Bricklink store. So here I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a last minute look at my first Bricklink setup for my store. Um, I was really, really proud of this. I put up nine bookcases in a closet format here and uh, put all my bins, all my sets in here and it worked really well. But the problem is, is that I'm looking to expand my store and I have unfortunately ran out of space. So this warehouse spot is going to uh, provide the opportunity for me to expand my store. Um, I currently have 130,000 pieces on there, but I do have a personal goal to get to 1 million pieces. And to do that, you need space to actually put the pieces somewhere. So obviously I'm outgrowing this spot and uh, it's time to go ahead and move on to bigger and better things. So now I'm just gonna give you guys a quick time lapse of me taking the sets off of the shelves. Here's a quick overview of some of the sets that I just pulled off the shelves. I'm about to load them up into my car. Just wanted to show you guys real quick all these awesome sets on this table. All right, guys, so we just got this stuff in the car, all up and loaded. Well, let's go ahead and take this on over to the warehouse. All right, so it's been a few hours now, um, and by a few hours, I mean about 12 hours. <laughs> so earlier we did a time lapse and showed me putting this up together, but um, I've now officially uh, put down some painter's tape on the ground here to kind of map a better idea of what I'm actually gonna be doing. I did make a Walmart and Target run, so I picked up four more bookcases and I will tell y'all why here in a second. So here we go. So every, you might be asking yourself like, okay, what are these squares or rectangles you got going on here? So all these rectangles are a bookcase, okay? So all of this, right? So I just explained a few minutes ago um, the basic layout, but I think this gives a better idea of actually how it's gonna look with the layout here. So we're gonna have five bookcases right here. These will be facing this way, these will be facing this way. 
of these two facing this way, those two facing that way, and then all these facing out, right? So we got two up here. We have to take them off the door a little bit, but they'll be right there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's eight just right there. We got 10 and we got one, two, three, four, five. So we got 15 bookcases here. Um, we'll have to, you know, half of them there, half there, you know, oh, access wise, right? Um, but that will be 15 total bookcases for the Bricklink store. I'll be able to store a lot of parts on that. So I think I have nine right now plus four here. So what I might actually end up doing is going and picking up two more. I'll see if another target has two more of them. That way, uh, today when we move in, which it is today now, uh, as I'm recording this video, but so it's the night before we're about to go get a U-Haul and go move all my Lego business stuff over here. And uh, I just wanted to kind of map this out, show you guys what it's gonna look like beforehand. So what's going on over here then? So essentially we're gonna set up the Lego business stuff first, the Bricklink store. This is gonna be where I set up my YouTube studio. Um, and I think I've already explained that, but so for these will all be for display stuff, right? So those will have over there will be the bins. They'll all have the pieces will be logged on the inventory, but these will have sets on them. So a big problem that I have is uh, in my room, I literally do not have space to display sets anymore. So, and here will be a great solution to that. I'll be putting, was that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 total new bookcases to display my Lego sets. And that'll be really, really cool. So I'll probably, what I'm gonna end up doing is, uh, I'll probably be buying some sets at, over time, right? But I really want to get some sets in here, make it look nice, you know, so, what I'll, what I'll probably end up doing is moving a lot of my better stuff um, from my room into here to make the studio look a lot better. And I'm gonna refer to this as the studio will be kind of my nickname for this. And then we'll have the store will be over here. So from now on the terminology, we're gonna have the store over here. We're gonna have the studio over here. That way I can just have a, a phrase for it, if you will. But yeah, so this big ugly, not even rectangle rectangle here um, is going to be where a table is. It could be slightly bigger, slightly smaller. Um, and then you guys might be wondering, what are you doing over here? This will be where the mock stuff goes. And I'm not entirely sure to be honest what I'm gonna do with that yet. So instead of putting something set in stone, I'm going to leave that open. Uh, let's get everything else set up first. And then whether I move, you know, some more tables in here, uh, some more pieces that I have set aside for mock building. Um, that will be where those go. So now real quick, we're just gonna jump into a time-lapse of us moving into the unit. Okay guys, it's been a few hours now, as you might be able to tell, a lot has changed in a short amount of time. I got my brother here, burning the wave to the camera. There you go, he's building some bookcases right now so I don't have to. I got my mom over here, she's sorting uh, sets out already. My mom actually, while I was uh, working on my other business stuff, went ahead and set up all the bins for me. Look at that, it looks so great. And um, I got them all organized by the, the letter and the numbers again. So uh, that way I don't have to do it, so thank you. And uh, make sure you go follow my mom on Instagram. It's at Mama Loves Lego. Um, go give her a follow, and she needs to go post some stuff so you guys can actually follow something. And uh, yeah, so my brother's putting these together. We're gonna go ahead and fill out the space. I think, uh, how many more do you have left? You got uh, three? Two more. Okay, so yeah, so we'll put that one over in the corner there. We'll go ahead and push these to the side and kind of make that doorway look entrance here um and yeah so he'll finish that so what my mom is doing right now she's sorting the sets right now so um, i'm gonna be teaching her how to actually part out and list stuff on the store and consolidate into the pieces that are already listed 
So that will be a fun process to get into. Um, I was gonna make her start with the Moss Isleys used uh, of the Cantina, but then I decided to be nice with some dot sets. So uh, there you go, shaking the shake of the head. And um, yeah, so this will be where the studio space is at. Don't, don't forget about that. We're just using this as a staging ground right now uh, while we get all this ready to go. But man, just, just take that in. Look how great that looks. These shelves look great. Um, we gotta finish uh, some of this right here. During the move, we got some scrapes and scratches on some of these shelves. My mom said she has some ideas on how to clean that up, get the nice finished look on those shelves again. And just like that, it's now the next night, okay? But just like that, look at this. Look at this, look at how great that looks. So we got all the shelves put up. We got our little doorway going here, which will lead into the studio, which will be the next video. What we'll be tackling is this section here. But uh, so yeah, um, we set the table over here. We got these chairs. I don't know if I mentioned this. I think you guys saw them in the last clip, but uh, my mom was uh, scrolling through Facebook Marketplace. And um, if you guys are ever moving if you're ever looking for furniture i highly recommend checking out facebook marketplace obviously be be careful be safe with your addresses but we got these four chairs okay we got four of these for 40 dollars. okay ten dollars each these are really high quality chairs um this business was going out of business and they were looking to just get rid of some furniture so we picked them up for ten dollars each it was such a great deal i did have to drive 45 minutes to get them but uh, it was definitely worth it but uh, my brother went ahead and put together the four shelves that I had bought from Target. So now we have to get two more to put right here, but that's not necessary right now. As you may notice, a lot of open space, right? A lot of lots of places to put more stuff. Mom went ahead and tackled uh, four part outs. She did three dot sets and ten of the new Clone Trooper battle packs, um, which it was just the pieces. So. Um, yeah, so that's all updated. Uh, make sure you guys go check out the BrickLink store. Um, all the, you know, the funds that we make from that help, uh, you know, get the YouTube channel going more, help, you know, actually pay for the spot that we're in right now. So uh, make sure you guys go check out LCW's Brick Shop. I'll have a, a link in the description, but I, I'm just so proud of how this has come together so far. And I'm really appreciative of my brother and mom for helping me out. I wish I would have gotten a few more time lapses of, you know, getting all this stuff taken care of. But, you know, when you just kind of get into the work groove, it's it's hard to remember some of that stuff sometimes. I think more, as I do more videos, I'll kind of have that on the forefront of my mind sometimes. But I'll definitely make sure I focus on getting more content, more videos for the studio part, more time lapse, because I think uh, that's what a lot of people told me they like is just watching the time lapse. So um, if I don't know if you guys have checked it out, but my old... My, I say my old video. I had a video from like two years ago of me setting up my current room. Um, I'll actually put it um, like right here. If you wanna go watch that video, it's a good just long 20 minute time lapse of me putting my room together. Um, I'm really proud of that video. I, I worked real hard on that one, but um, yeah. So this is part one, building the BrickLink store. Heck yeah, we got the table in here. Makeshift trash can, never go wrong with that. We got two orders packed right there. And look at all the bins, they're all nice and organized again. There's so many great pieces on here. Like I said, go check out the store. But yeah, so the next episode, we'll be checking out the Lego Studio. I really appreciate you guys coming and watching uh, this more of a shorter episode. The next one will definitely be longer, but make sure that you guys are commenting down what mocks you wanna see me build, uh, what you wanna see, like what sets you'd like to see on display in the studio make sure you guys are liking the video sharing with your friends and please 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 don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you guys so much for coming out and have a great and wonderful day